already know it's your boy Joe back again yeah all right guys so we're gonna do a little animation I want this to have like a hover effect when you go put your mouse on top of it I wanted to basically show something cool you know what I mean so let's go back to this and let's say I wanted to have something like this right so okay let's build this so inside of a div we're gonna create let's try with the first one first and then we just copy it Let's do this. Let's get this, not this one, the RGB. Let's get this numbers. So it's one thirty three. 165 204 all right that's this color okay so let's do background rgba and let's put this thing in here Say height one hundred percent position one hundred percent. Now let's say okay, now it's on top of it, right? Now let me see. War box. Cover mm. box. Now when we hover this, let's take this. And when we hover this box. to say hover dot hover box uh, let me do this position relative and let's do this left minus 100% now for this let's move this under here now when we hover on top of the box I want this to move left to zero alright you see how it goes over now let's hide this box here right and let's say overflow hidden see so now when I go on top of it it basically it shows that little thing now let's work with a little bit of animations uh, let me see 
Let's do this. Transition. Left. Let me see. Oh, matter of fact. Transition. Point seven seconds. Ease. Let's do that. See what happens. Um, let's see. Let's see. Transition. No, this is better. Why is this showing up? Okay, so this one. So in the hover box. We had the transition the wrong thing. You see? See that little thingy? Well let's change the color. Let's pick this, right? So we got four. What I'm copying is this here. We got 48, 57, 92. Alright. Now, also, put a comma and then we put the opacity. Which is gonna be let's say seven, right? So now we'll show that, and then let's do something where um, inside the hover box we're going to create. Oh, let's clean this up a little bit. Inside the hover box. We are going to bring this up a little bit more. Yeah. We're going to put uh, H3 title, whatever. Let's say project one. And let's say a category uh, web design. Now when we come in here, see how we have that. Let's clean that up. Our box. Same color white font size. Let's say twenty four pixels. Wait, let's say I'm now bold. And then you just see how that looks. Project one. Every time I just click Command and R for I think the browser on Windows is usually window is Control R, but for Mac is Command R, and you basically refresh the page. Or you could just come here and press that. So whenever you do something different on your code. 
you basically come here refresh the page make sure you save this file and refresh it All right now let's clean that up a little bit more okay let's take this gonna put this thing instead of let's see how it's in the center let's put this to the left padding let's do 35 pixels on top and 15 pixels to the left so top and right 35 no top and, and bottom 30, 35 and left and right 15 so refresh now we're cleaning it up now let's do text align to the left yeah, that's a little bit better but I still it still look better let's do Bottom. Fifteen pixels. Put this on. All right. Now let's see what else. We could actually do something else. Let's see. We do. Opacity zero, and then on the hover box, let's move this back up. Opacity one. So now, let's see how it fades in, fades out. All right, now let me see. We can actually, what else can we do to this? Logic block. Now let's do that for all of them. Okay, let's see. Take this. Uh, let's clean this code up, right? All right? Let's take this. Now let's put it inside of each div. Clean it up. The way how you clean it up like that, move it to the right or the left. You press Command and then you click brackets, either brackets to the right or brackets to the left. The brackets are the ones that are next to the letter P. All right, guys. Matter of fact, let's darken this up a little bit. Let's hover box. Say nine. Let's see how cool that looks. Or we could even do something instead of doing it from the left, we do it from top. So, as a matter of fact, bottom.
kita bara. Let's make that a little bit faster. So the transition. This is how basically how fast the animation is gonna go. You see now it's a little bit faster. You could go and make this, you know. This is 0.5 seconds, that means half of a second. You could actually go and put in three seconds, and then it's gonna be super slow. You know, you can put as long as you want it, but half a second is good. Now, also, too, inside of the box, let's put this cursor, which is your little pointer. This little thing is called a cursor, and let's call it pointer which now gives us the little hand you see because most people know that when you see the little hand it means to click it alright alright guys that's about it for now you already know make sure you subscribe